Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I want to invite you to subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment, and if you want to get alerts whenever we do upload a video, whenever I do upload a video, hit that bell icon. This video is a little different than a lot of my previous videos in that I'm dealing with the wheels on my truck, my 2007 Toyota Tundra. Now, <clears throat> my wheels were nasty. I mean, nasty, nasty. And I know the number one key to, to keeping your wheels clean is to clean them on a regular basis. I mean, really clean them. But I have a busy lifestyle, and most of the time, I just run through one of those dry, those go-through car uh, wash things and vacuum it out and go on about my business. And over, the t over time, the, the wheel dust grind just builds up and builds up and builds up. And those car washes are not going to get that off. So <clears throat> I, uh, I, I did a video a long time ago about using oven cleaner. And uh, I got to tell you that I still wasn't even, even after doing that video, 100% uh, uh, convinced. So th this video is about that. And uh, I'm doing it again. And uh, it all, it's kind of choppy. I don't know exactly how I'm going to put it all together because I started on Friday, May the 29th. I finished on Sunday, May the 30th. And uh, because uh, my daughter, my baby girl, called Daddy, I'm gonna know, could she borrow the pressure washer? And of course, Daddy says yes. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to put it all together and show you my results. The brake grime on my truck wheels is uh, really bad. And <clears throat> so I hit it with the pressure washer. Of course, there was no luck there. And then I had a, a thought, well, WD-40 is good for so many things. Maybe WD-40 will break. will break this grime up. So I spray some WD-40 down here. And with a little bit of a help, a little bit of help with from this towel so let's just try another area i'll show you what i did let's try this big area right here i sprayed on the wd-40 and if you just let it if you spray it on there and you let it dry it's just gonna the brake dust the grime is just gonna harden and and uh but uh that wd-40 breaks up that stuff pretty good so let's just give it a wipe and see. Now it's taking quite a bit of elbow grease, but if that's what it takes, I'm using a microfiber towel, nothing harsh. Okay, so, so now <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to my, I did a video a long time ago on Easy Off oven cleaner and I got just a little bit left in this can and uh, I think I'm gonna come over here and we'll spray make sure I got my camera no well, it's not much in there it's already trying to it's not foaming like it should well, let's just let that sit on there for a little bit. I'm not sure if that easy off is too harsh for the valve stem, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. Didn't think about that. So it's only been on there <clears throat> probably 30 seconds. It's just experiment. Maybe it takes longer. Just a little bit of experiment. That's why, gee whiz. Look at that. No effort whatsoever. some in a cut it's burning now oven cleaner's harsh but hey i figure you know if it can go in the place where you're fixing your food wow i've done this before and i'm even more impressed now it's in my rag and this stuff is just breaking up 
So let me let me just. I mean, I'm telling you, this stuff is is caked on. I did spray it with some WD-40 all the way around yesterday, but that's been that's been the easiest thing so far. So I went ahead and I sprayed all that I had left. So I, I sprayed some a little bit right here. And then I started right here and I went all the way around to about right there. And <clears throat> I'm telling you, this wheel has been really, really, really nasty. I'm going to go get some more easy off. This is the heavy duty stuff. I don't know what that means. It just says heavy duty and uh, cleans in five minutes. That's an oven. How nasty ovens can get. So, we're going to let that soak in just a few more seconds. <clears throat> I remember my mom using Easy Off to clean the oven, and I remember she always had gloves on. So, I probably should have some gloves on. But I'm wondering <clears throat> if I spray that stuff on and I let it soak in for a while, if I hit it with a pressure washer. We gotta try that. So I got my handy dandy Ryobi 2000 PSI electric pressure washer. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Look at that. I tell you, I'm pretty amazed. It's not too completely clean because I didn't have enough cleaner to cover every little things. And I've got to go to the store and get some more of that. But if I can just spray that on and then hit it with a pressure washer, because I tried the pressure washer without anything and it didn't budge. It didn't budge. So I'm pretty amazed. So to the store to get some more easy off oven cleaner and a pressure washer so i went to walmart and i bought some great value oven cleaner thought i'd give it a try it was a couple of dollars cheaper than the easy off and i bought some easy off too just so that i could compare the two but we're going to try this great value so look at the grind that's on that wheel and uh, I'm gonna hit it with this great value. Now, I don't really know how harsh this stuff is and if it's hurting anything on the wheel, the tire, behind the wheel, but I've seen other people use it and uh, it's foaming up. It foams up more than the Easy Off does, which I don't know that that makes a difference, but uh, anyway, it's foaming up quite a bit and I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes because that's what it says on the can five minutes so looking at the can of the uh, great value it says five to ten minutes compared to the easy off that says three minutes deep clean well let's just see how the great value does so after five minutes and the foam has broken down and I'm going to get the pressure washer, my Ryobi 2000 PSI electric pressure washer and we're hitting it. Look at this. It's going to clean it really good. I just, I'm just being completely, look at this. Look at this. Look how clean it is. I know there's still a lot of foam on there and, and you can't really tell. And video doesn't really do it justice, but I'm just telling you 
that that grime just washed away. Now the type of wheel, the type of uh, metal on the wheel may have something to do with that. And, uh, but look at that. I've just, after trying so many different products to get my wheels clean, look at this. I am just totally amazed. So here's another look at uh, the driver's side front wheel after I cleaned it with the easy off and I cleaned the dirt off the tire. The, my tires were so dirty because of a trip down a muddy road to the creek to a few days ago. But uh, I just, uh, look at this. Look how clean it is. And all I did was spray the oven cleaner on there, let it sit, and then hit it with the pressure washer. There was absolutely no, no elbow grease, no work involved. Amazing. Well, that's going to do it for today. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, thumbs up, comment. Jesus said the thief only comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. He said, I have come that they may have life, that they may have life more abundantly. And I want to choose you. I want to encourage you today to choose Jesus and the life that uh, comes through serving and being a follower of Jesus Christ. Hey, have a great day.